My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to draw a shelf in Photoshop. So I'm going to start off. I'll make it like that big. So that way there's an equal number, or somewhat equal, I guess. All right. <clears throat> so the second thing I've done is actually I've added a stroke to my shape. But um, the way that you do that is you go down to effects and stroke. And the reason that I've done this is so that I can, and I, you can one, usually one is, one pix, pixel is just fine um, for your line. And this is just so that you can know where your line, or where your shape is, so that you can connect it to the other part of your shape. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, so now I'm going to use the pen tool. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and start adding. And try to be, if you can, try to be as symmetrical as possible. And so there you've got the first part of your shelf. <clears throat> and it's not going to look like much yet. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer. And the way you do this is it's right down next to the trash can. And I'm just going to get a line. I'm gonna, first, I'm going to pick a color that's slightly lighter, actually a lot lighter, contrasting. Go to the line tool. It's, right under, it's under the rectangle tool when you hold it down. And I'm just going to draw a line across this part. And holding down shift, I'll draw a perfectly straight line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer. And this is the last part. Pick a dark color, darker than the one you have. Go back to your shape tool, select the rectangle tool. Just draw a giant rectangle over your shelf. And then go back to your shape layer, hold down control, and select rasterize layer. This is going to make it so you can edit your layer and add effects to it. So then I'm going to go up to Filter. I'm going to go to Sketch. I'm going to go to Graphic Pen. And the reason I'm doing this is to get that wood grain look. So this should be that good. All right, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go to, up here, there's, these are your layer transparency options. I'm just going to go to Multiply, because then you can see your shelf beneath it. And so the last final thing you're going to do, hold down Control, click, and select Create Clipping Mask. Oops, it didn't work in this case. And that's because I actually have this shape, and I haven't rasterized it yet. So I'm actually going to rasterize this layer and this layer. So that way, let's try that again. I'm actually going to merge down this layer. And the reason I'm doing that is because, oh yeah, because if I have two shapes, it'll actually convert the clipping mask to the most recent shape that I've made. And there should be no effects on your multiply layer, then you're going to create a clipping mask. And so then you can get rid of your grid if you want by doing exactly what we did before, just going to show and then grid. And there you've got your wood grain shelf. My name is Alex Cecilia, and this is how you draw a shelf in Photoshop. Thank you.